This is the uh, 21st of June, and uh, it's been a while since uh, since everything. It's been a while since I made a video. It's been a while since uh, the uh, broke my neck. So uh, you know, it's kind of an interesting thing to just look back and think that uh, it's. Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's uh, been a whole week since all that happened, and a little more, plus a few, uh, plus a few days. The uh, it didn't do any physical therapy over the weekend, so the weekend was kind of boring. It's kind of it's mostly just sitting around in this room and watching reruns of old TV shows and just. Uh, more or less sitting around. I was doing some upper body exercises, which have been going pretty good. I'm feeling a lot stronger. My right hand is, look at that, look at that. Progress, baby. Can't really get to the pinky finger yet, but hey, we'll get there. Um, left hand continuing to be completely worthless, but uh, I'm sure he'll come around eventually. I've been doing... Uh, ABCs with them, you know, just getting the most things. And you have no idea, embarrassingly enough, how many times I was in the middle of it and then I had to sit there and go in my mind A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> and then go on to the next letter. So, you know, the, I guess it may have uh, rattled my brain a little bit. So, uh, it might not be the sharpest tool on the shed anymore, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what else I forgot. Um, so that was pretty much my weekend of uh, luxury of uh, a day in the life of the Oklahoma Spawn Resort. Uh, today, I was able to, uh, I, I finally learned that I will be pretty much 100% getting into the correct facility. Uh, so I was able to actually watch, uh, I was kind of not watching any videos of it just so I didn't want to get myself too hyped up about it. I mean, I knew it was an amazing facility, but uh, they have, they have a, a lot of YouTube videos about, uh, you know, just some extra stuff that they do. And I, I watched some of those and it really does seem like an amazing place and I really do think that uh, once I once I go there uh, about four weeks into that place I'm gonna be doing jumping jacks out of it probably maybe even cartwheels hopefully that or I'm gonna have a really nice cane to walk around with that's gonna be cool um, I'm feeling pretty good today it's you know the weekend was pretty good to just sit back and relax and reflect on the on what else happened and just think about the future it's it's gonna be uh it's gonna take a while and it's good to just you know with these marathon things just kind of take it slow sometimes take it take it a little easy today uh you know we got back into some physical therapy and uh they got me they basically lowered me on they lowered the bed back and they said okay sit up they pretty much didn't help me at all with this one. They said, "All right, sit up, get your legs off the get your legs off the bed." They kind of acted like some drill sergeants, you know, getting a little mean, started yelling at me in my ears, calling me a dirt bag, saying, "I'm a, you know, get your legs off. What are you doing?" Um, so I got my legs off and I was able to uh, sit up straight, and I was able to sit up straight pretty pretty well. I mean. I did I can use my arms for support on the bed, but I, I wanted to have my arms in my lap just to see how well I could just sit up straight on my own. And I felt pretty confident that I could just sit there for a while, so that's really good. So uh, after that, they they had me uh, they got me to stand up. They got they pretty much just put a belt around me, and they we got a belt around me and uh, they grabbed me by the, the belt and they had me like put my arms on them and they picked me up and I was a doozy but uh, we got up there and I was able to put you know pressure on my right leg obviously because that guy works but 
left leg. They pretty much locked him into place, and I was able to put pressure on my left leg. But and I could feel it. I could feel myself putting pressure there, but I definitely could not move it whatsoever. And that guy felt like he was going to buckle at any moment just because I have no real control over him. Um, but, uh, you know, the fact that I was able to feel pressure on him, the fact that I was able to put pressure on him, and they had me rock back and forth between them to get my balance right. And, uh,. Once I uh, once I was able to get my balance kind of right, they uh, they would they would move my left foot to the left a bit, to the right a bit, and so they kind of really moved to the left. And I can't help but feel it's all just uh, getting me more and more prepared to. Uh, basically, they want me out of here. <laughs> they want me to get lost, and for good reasons they want me to get into my uh, basically they want me to get be able to get into a bed they want me to be able to get out of bed and into a wheelchair at least and then go from a wheelchair to move around a wheelchair and then go from a wheelchair to you know get back into bed or go from a wheelchair and go get on a toilet pretty much that's a pretty important part um, so pretty much we're just working on puzzle pieces to get put together for the whole uh, for the whole operation and uh, I feel like we're making really 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 good progress there and um, I'm excited to see some results and I think we'll get some pretty solid you know results in terms of me getting into a wheelchair in at least a week the thing is is I'm pretty much just waiting on Craig, and um, I think they said that it might take up to it might it might take up to next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday, for me to be able to go to Craig. But uh, OU doesn't know if they can keep me that long here. So what might happen is I might have to end up going home for a few days, which I'm excited for, but I also need to be ready for. I need to I need to get prepared. I need to get strong and be able to do all those things that I'll need to be able to do to be at least slightly self sufficient in a house and not just have to call the ambulance again because that would be embarrassing to come back here. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, like I said, it was a slow weekend and uh, nothing really happened over it except besides from some nice relaxing. Uh, times and just kicking back and recovering, getting my strength back, you know, breathing a little bit, taking a breather. And then uh, Monday, you know, we came back strong and I uh, can't wait to uh, look forward for tomorrow. So apologies for not giving you guys any updates. It's just, you know, the update would have been, hey, I sat around today and watched some TV. <laughs> so not the most exciting stuff, but uh, we're doing good, and uh, hope everyone else is, and I hope you guys all have a good day, and looking forward to the next video, so I'll uh, see you guys then.